Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and welcome to Aaron Plays Fun Fact. So, this is a special episode, and I feel very heavy right now. The number one keyword is coronavirus. As many medical specialists reviewed, the whole world is experiencing mad march. In this episode, I'll share some powerful information that I collected from specialists in China. It is how our body changes in the first 21 days after the invasion of coronavirus. This is patient X. He was infected with coronavirus 21 days ago. Stage 1. Early infection. 21 days ago. This immune system's battle against the coronavirus begins when patient X accidentally inhales the virus. The virus was driven straight from the nasal mucosa and the convex small crown was combined with the ACE2 protein on the surface of long cells to successfully enter the cell of patient X. The envelope is removed and the viral RNA is released. This small fragment of only 30,000 bases will invade the protection line inside the cell uncontrollably, allowing the cell to help it replicate itself and inhabit the original gene expression as more and more progeny viruses are produced. The whole cell completes its mission. The virus will abandon it in search of the next healthy cell and continue to infect and replicate. During this process, patient X didn't feel any obvious discomfort. He was still hanging out with his friends, watch a movie with his family, go to work by subway, and talk about his future plan and ambitions with his colleagues. Stage two, symptoms appeared 14 days ago. The virus kills ciliated cells in the lung, preventing them from blocking external aggressors such as viruses and pollen. Slowly, patient X's respiratory tract began to be flooded with debris and fluids. The lungs began to become inflamed and a large number of ciliated cells set a signal of inflammation to the immune system before the death. This is what we often call cytokines. Immune cells respond quickly, accurately locate the virus based on cytokines and begin a counterattack. The war entered a feverish phase. Patient X began to have a fever and cough. He thought it was just a common cold and took antibiotics and medicine to relieve symptoms. However, in addition to the drowsiness of these drugs, nothing is working. But meanwhile, the immune cells are failing. They're beginning to realize that this time the virus may not be that easy to fight with. Stage three, before admission, seven days ago, the army of immune cells began to build up their forces and they continued to enter the lung, try to support it and kill a large number of the viruses. But healthy organizations was accidentally injured in the war. Honeycomb perforation began to appear in the lungs and the damage worsened. Capillary permeability increases. Blood vessels began to bleed and blood penetrates into the alveoli. Patient X had difficulty breathing and continued to have a high fever and finally took himself to the hospital. After hanging up the emergency department, he took a long CT and the lungs in the photo began to appear cloudy. Frosted glass-like lesion, which doctors call frosted glass shuttle, are common pathological features. Not long after he was hospitalized, he began to develop symptoms of respiratory failures and the virus looked at the scarred lungs and felt it was time to continue. As they infiltrate the blood of cells, they enter the body's circulatory system. Cytoclines follow closely and enter the blood circulations. The blood at this time was like a disaster-laden truck, carrying the virus to the next organ, liver. Stage four, inflammatory storm, five days ago. The liver's main job is to filter the blood coming from the digestive tract before passing it to the rest of the body. It also detoxifies chemicals and metabolized drugs. The liver has a strong ability to regenerate and even if it loses 70%, it can recover in three to four weeks. The fearless viruses completely anger vein immune cells because it has never been lost 
to any virus in most of our lives. They fired all at once, trying to die with the virus. As a result, liver function was declared depleted. Patient X was plugged into a ventilator and lay on the bed. The nurse took his blood test, which showed that the enzyme content was abnormally high. The doctor glanced and said it's an inflammatory storm. Stage 5. Multiple organ failure. Three days ago, the virus reached the kidneys. With 2 million nephrons consisting of glomeruli and tubules, the glomeruli was first to capture the coronavirus from the blood. Under the dual attack of viruses and immune cells, they quickly lose function, accumulated toxins, and acute kidney failure, making the kidney the third large organ to fail. Renal failure is fatal. Stage 6, last fight, one day ago. The doctor detected the virus in the stool from patient X diarrhea. It even reached 10 times that of patients with myocardial infarction. The heart and stomach are also defeated. The doctor made the last effort and even transferred a few ECMO treatment devices in the hospital to replace the heart and lung functions. But there is no rescue of multiple organ failure. Actually, multiple organ failure occurs in only about 2% of coronavirus patients and most patients are cured during the pneumonia stage. This is Dr. Yu Changpeng, Department of Respiratory Medicine, People's Hospital of Wuhan University. After he was diagnosed with coronavirus, he took a video to report the process of fighting against the virus. He couldn't get out of bed for five days when his condition worsened, but he had the faith to survive. He claimed that even when he was weak and had trouble breathing, he forced himself to eat and drink. Later on, his condition began to improve. He advised everyone to strengthen precautions and not to panic blindly. The final victory will belong to us. I hope we learned something from this video. Please share this to your friends on social media so people know how serious this virus is. But still, like I said, don't panic blindly. 98% of people who get it get cured. The best we can do right now is social distancing. And if you have to go out for grocery shopping, please wear a mask and be safe. My channel is called Aaron Plays Fun Facts. We explore all the fun facts in the world. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, leave a comment down below of what you learned today. And well, that's it for today. See you guys in the next video. Peace.